I am Gretel Egan, Content Manager with Wombat Security Technologies, and I'm here to talk to you today about uh, our most favorite time of the year here in the U.S., and that's tax season. And as if tax season is not stressful enough, you have to worry about scam artists who are trying to steal your information, file tax returns on your behalf, and steal your money, essentially. So I wanted to talk to you about ways that you can prevent yourself from falling for tax-related fraud. And we'll focus a lot on the IRS here because of the season here in the US, but this is applicable uh, in other countries and certainly even at the state level and local level. Um, and not only could you receive communications pretending to be from the IRS, but you might also receive communications pretending to be from a tax filing agency, um, a, an international body like the HMRC or something similar. So essentially what you want to be on the lookout for are any requests for your personal information that seem off or raise a red flag. Anything that requests your financial data, your social security number, things of that nature should immediately raise a red flag for you and you need to take a step back. So essentially what you want to think about are, are you receiving emails? Are you receiving text messages, phone calls, letters? that are asking for your personal information. It is important to remember that the IRS will not initiate contact with you and request personal data. This is by either email or text or social media exchange. If you should receive an email or a text message that seems off, do not reply, do not click a link, do not download an attachment. You essentially wanna put yourself in the driver's seat. And this goes for even phone calls and letters as well. What you wanna do is, like I said, take that step back, think for a minute and verify yourself. You wanna go through a verifiable channel. You could go to the irs.gov and find a correct phone number, uh, a correct mailing address. You want to initiate that call yourself, confirm that the request is legitimate before you act on it in any way. Um, you also want to think about this is this not just in your personal life, but it could happen to you at work too. You want to be cautious of anyone who requests W-2 information or other tax related information for your coworkers. Uh, these are very common scams and revealing that sort of information and giving up that sort of information is a nightmare and a headache for anyone who is impacted. So, to sum up, the IRS will never contact you by email, text, or social media to request your personal information. Take that step back if you do receive that sort of communication and verify yourself. Reach out on your own. You can also find an infographic in our free resources section as well as attached to a blog post um, that explains some of the things that you should look out for and ways that you can avoid tax-related fraud.